Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys, as always. Um, I'm going to do a video like I've never done before. So yeah, get excited. Um, I am about to show y'all, let me just request troops real quick. Um, sorry, I'm going to show you guys how I do... Um, how I do giant healer strategy. I, I haven't seen any real videos on it. I haven't really been looking either. But um, I'm just going to show you all how I go about doing the giant healer strategy. I generally have two healers um, and at least 16 giants. Um, and then eight wall breakers just to help them get in. Um, and you always want to have rage spells. Uh, you don't really need... Uh, you can use lightning spells if you want, but if you if you place your troops effectively, then you're not going to need them to take out air defenses, and you can use raid spells, which I like a lot more. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see. I know I just got a couple of troops. Um, I don't really want to wait for the rest of them. <laughs> so why don't we go ahead and um, attack and see what we can find, all right? And if we don't find anything in the first couple of bases, then I will shut off and I will see you guys in a little bit, alright? But I just want to say a quick thank you to all of my new fans, my new subs. You guys are awesome. Um, I'm actually going to attack this base. But anyways, you guys are awesome. I uh, really appreciate... Never mind, I'm going to the next one. <laughs> I really appreciate your support, your likes, your comments, getting involved, guys. That's what, I'm all ab that's what I'm all about. I'm all about you guys getting involved, telling me what you like, what you don't like. Um, and I try my best. I really do try my best to... Um, please you guys as much as I can. Um, that's my goal. I'm not doing this for me. I mean, well, I kind of am because it's a lot of fun. I love making videos and stuff. Um, but I mainly do it for you guys. So, yeah, here's what I'm going to do on this base. I'm definitely attacking it. Um, I'm going to attack from the top where that uh, air defense is. Um, actually, uh, no, I'm going to attack from the bottom, but I am going to check for clan council troops first. There are not any. I'm going to distract up here with a couple barbarians. And then try and take out this air defense right here. That mortar is about to do work. Um, Alright, and then let's go ahead and drop down our giants right down here. Oh, yay. Someone randomly put a freak it. Really? And then let's drop a rage spell right there. And then let's try and get these guys. There we go. Let's get these guys in here to that air defense. Um, and then, yep, there they go. So we can go ahead and drop our healers down. And they're only going to get one shot off, so that's going to be perfect. Um, hopefully the healers will stay with the giants and not with the, um, with the Barbarian King. Uh, let's keep on laying down some uh, archers in the corners to help take everything out. As you can see, our giants are still working their way around. Um, we are going to run into an issue with this air defense right here, but once we get there, um, it shouldn't be too bad of a problem. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't take out this archer tower right here as well. Um, and see what we can do with that. Let's go ahead and drop down a couple of goblins up here to start doing some work over there. As you can see, we still have a pretty good amount of archers left. Now you can see that that air defense is doing work on our, um, healers. But we have 56% of the base done, and our healers are just now going down. Uh, so we should do, we should still end up doing pretty well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop a rage spell right over here as well, and get those giants through the wall. Um, and let's go ahead and drop some of our goblins up in there um, as well to go ahead and get us some of those resources. Now, we still have a lot of time left, so there's no need to rush. We still have a bunch of giants. They're still doing their work. Um, <laughs> that mortar just shot where the troops were going. Um, that's a little bit frustrating, but that's fine. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and drop the rest of my goblins right here so they can break in there to that gold. Since pretty much all the defenses are gone, our goblins are running rampant through the base. Um, and the rest of the gold is up there in the top, so we're doing really, really good on this, guys. Um, I definitely want these goblins to break in. There they go. They're about to get all that dark elixir. Um, and you know what? We might actually have a chance at three-starring this base. Um, it looks like we have, yep, so those goblins are running in there doing work. There we go, 97%. And that's it, guys. So that is, oh, oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Hurry, run! Run! Alright guys, so there's 100%. Nice job. That is a very effective way of doing the giant healer strategy. Um, I got awesome loot. I'm loving that dark elixir. I'm trying to upgrade my hog rider, so I only need um, about 4,000, uh, a little over 3,000 <coughs> dark elixir. 
But guys, that is a, a very effective way of doing the giant healer strategy. Um, you want to take out as many air defenses as you can uh, beforehand. And uh, it also depends on the bases that you search for. Don't just pick a base because it has good loot if you can't take it. Um, because then you'll just not get any of the loot. So you'll try and attack it and you won't win. Um, so definitely pay attention to the bases, pay attention to the ones that have air defenses under construction and all that kind of stuff, and you should be pretty well off. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you all a quick giant healer strategy because I do use that strategy a lot. Um, so there we go. I hope you liked it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. You're so much cooler than me. I appreciate everything that you all do. Uh, keep calm and clash on for me. I'll see you guys later.